too fucking refined for this. Jesus Christ, man. Listen, it may be a nice refined hat, but too refined is simply too refined for me, alright? Psst. Come here. Yeah, listen, the schoolyard is five blocks that way, pal. Nah, I ain't that kind of guy. But you... You seem like the kind of guy who likes murder, maiming, and massacres. Well, those are a few of my favorite words that start with M. You're just missing out on... I have macaroni, too. Alright, now you have my attention, good sir. What else do you got? Hey, pal, how about this? You're positive you're not that kind of guy? Hey, listen, pal. Do you want it or not? Eh, why not? That'll be one refined. I'm sorry, but you lure kids in with candy and then charge them for it. You're worse than I thought. Well, you ain't exactly a kid, are you? So you are that kind of guy. Listen, do you want it or not? Because Jimmy over there looks like he wants it. Alright, alright, I'll take it, I'll take it. In the future though, for quote unquote somebody who's not that kind of guy, maybe don't say the kid over there wants it. Just kind of gives off some bad vibes. Many unbearable hours later. Alright, let's see what buying sketchy things from back alleys gets you. Oh, what the fuck, man. TF2! It's got a lot of items, ranging from the essential, like the power jack, to the mediocre, like the haunted metal scrap. And of course, it also has its fair share of the completely useless. Seriously, I've seen pedals on wheelchairs be more useful than these bloody things. I want to be very clear though when I say items, not weapons. Some weapons may be in this video, but most of the stuff in here is tools and items. Objects akin to name tags and paint cans, and other miscellaneous materials. Some of these items are completely useless and belong in the back alley. Others could just use a little more tweaking to see them get more usage out of them. Shockingly, this is actually the most useful, useless item on this list. Don't think too much about that. What can I really say about the Volcano Fragment that hasn't been said before? It deals significantly less damage compared to stock, and the only benefit it has is that it ignites enemies on fire upon hit. Obviously, if you're already in melee range with Pyro, you're just gonna use your flamethrower to set people on fire. Not this horrible abomination. But, that being said, it can, in fact, kill someone. Even though it's extremely challenging to do so, and relies heavily on crits. Although this weapon has some trouble killing someone physically, it excels in killing someone mentally and psychologically. Killing some poor, helpless soul with this weapon makes them feel worthless. Like they can't achieve anything in this world. It makes a person think. If they die to something as terrible as the Volcano Fragment, then surely they must be even worse. You ruin not only their playing experience, but their life as well. Thing still fucking sucks though. Pros! It can, in fact, kill someone. Can also, in fact, kill their sense of well-being. Cons! Extremely pointless and worthless when compared to alternatives. Solution? Deal more damage on non-ignited players and less damage on ignited players. Kinda like a reverse extinguisher. Also, keep the ability of igniting players on it. Is it good? Not really, but it's much better to the alternative. Unlike our next useless item. Now, I'll be honest, this is an extremely niche item. It has its fair share of uses, especially nowadays with stat clock war paints, bot killers, or even Australian weapons if you're real lucky. Here is the issue, however. To actually exchange kills between two weapons, they need to be the same type of weapon. So let's just fix this real quick. And now you may exchange your kills. But what about strange parts? Stuff like headshots, medics killed, do those strange parts get applied to the new weapon? No! <laughs> Idiot, of course not! You know how much money people would lose if that was the case? You have to buy and apply the same strange parts to the weapon you wish to transfer to also transfer the strange parts tracker. Pros! Don't have to work all the way back to Hail Zone. Cons! Need two of the same weapon. Really complicated with strange parts. Solution? Make kills carry over regardless of weapon type. Stuff like engineers' wrenches which track sentry kills instead of melee kills are compatible with one another. Essentially, if it has a unique way of leveling up as a strange, it should be compatible with each other. Like Girardi and Mad Milk. 
continuing the trend with Stranges. Have you ever seen a strange technical? Or a strange sophisticated? Maybe even a strange classic. Not, not that kind of strange classic. Yeah, there you go. Have zero idea what I'm talking about? Telling me you don't know what a strange competitive item is? Well, to briefly explain, imagine them sort of like a strange part for a specific map. Measuring kills you get on a specific map, in addition it adds a little suffix to your strange unique to the map. A strange technical would be for junction, a strange sophisticated for gully wash, and of course a strange classic tracks kills on 2-4. Then there are the free odd ones, one for competitive kills, like anyone actually plays comp, which is a strange competitive. And two for MVM, even though robots don't track as strange kills, being a strange combustible for Coal Town and a strange empiric for Manhattan. Here's the issue, however, with all this. You see, strange parts like headshots or critical kills track the normal kills in addition to their desired part. Strange filters, however, only track kills on their specific map. They don't track kills on any other map, Meaning, unless you really like to play Dust Bowl, that strange, dirty shovel you have there will never, ever reach Hale's own. Pros! Cool idea tracking specific maps. Even cooler idea to give it an additional part of the name. Cons. Only tracks kills from the selected map. The solution is fairly simple. Don't lock them down to one specific map. Have them more akin to strange parts tracking kills on the specific map in addition to all other kills. Identical to a power-up canteen, except it can only be used during a full moon or scream fortress. Pros! We need more canteens, especially strange ones that look cool. Cons! Only usable for like two weeks of the year, cost me one fucking refined. Solution? Murder the fucking bastard that sold this to me. Now, you can't get this item to drop anymore, but according to Backpack.tf, 280,000 of them still exist in people's inventories. What does this item do when you use it? Does it give you access to a new weapon? A free hat? Maybe even a brand new car? No, of course not. It just gives you a crate. That's it. Pros! Can't get it anymore. Cons! Why the hell does this item drop to give you a crate instead of you just getting the crate directly? Cut out the middleman? Solution? No solution needed. Ah, here we go. This is easily the most useless item in TF2. You obviously can't get it anymore, but apparently there's still a couple hundred thousand of them just lying out and about in people's backpacks. So. When you use this item, you get a hat, a real shitty hat, for a completely different game that no longer has servers running for it. Meaning this item literally has no use now. Pros! I like to complain, and there is a lot to complain about here. Cons! Why a terrible hat that has nothing related to TF2 to begin with? Why did this crossover event give us the two worst weapons in the game? Why just a terrible hat to start with? Why Rift out of all things? Why does it still exist to begin with? You're telling me spells were wiped from the game completely, but we still have this? Solutions! I, I don't know. Bring back the Rift servers, apparently. I, I guess. And finally, we have the Noisemaker. A contender for the most forgotten item in TF2. Most people typically think of the Smithsmiths and Birthday Noisemakers, which people spam the hell out of on their respective dates, but these Noisemakers are in fact quite unique. You see, those two Noisemakers have an unlimited amount of uses. All other Noisemakers could only be used 25 times before being all used up. For reasons. Not counting the two unlimited ones, there are exactly 12 other unique noisemakers, such as Crazy Laugh. <laughs> which hurts my fucking ears. Gremlin. Which also hurts my fucking ears. 
and stabby. Which I'm sure every spy main ever had equipped. Sadly, you cannot purchase these noisemakers anymore, and the cost of trading for one is quite expensive, going as high as 7 keys. Valve took them all out of the store too. All, except for one. That's right, baby, the only one still available for cheap is a... That word. A promo item for Football Manager 2012, and I spent a lot of money buying them for the purpose of this bit. I'm just gonna be sneaky. Oh shit! I just had an epic gas one v one. I've done a lot of stupid shit in this game, but this probably takes like, oh my god. <laughs> You've used all your noise maker charge! Ah, I'd love to see it! Oh, fuck. Fuck me. Good lord. Cons cost me my entire college investment. Spammable, loud, and annoying. Only 25 uses, too. Pros, spammable, loud, and annoying. Only 25 uses too. Solution, actually bring these back Valve, no joke. Maybe remove the limited uses and give me the 20 grand I spent acquiring these. Just, please, thanks. And there we have it folks. The most useless, worthless, gutter garbage, rubbish items of an all of TF2 that simply have such wasted potential. Save for that rift one. You're, you're screwed if you have those. I got I got nothing to help you with that. Valve could make some minor and minute adjustments to these things to make them a bit better, but I did spend the last several minutes being a pessimist complaining about it, so they aren't gonna change a damn thing. As a wise man once said though, sucks to suck. <laughs>